there, this is Hans from No Loot Studios. I am going to make three videos explaining how you can add your own custom resources for your RPG Maker and the project. In this episode I will teach you how you can create your own sprites. First, just open your RPG Maker and the project. If you haven't already got one, you can create a new one in the top right no wait sorry the top left corner click create new project name it whatever you like now open the character generator make a completely nude sprite no hair no clothing nothing if the character is completely naked it's a lot easier to use him as a template then export him as the walk character you can name him whatever you like I personally prefer to call him template. Now you need to open your photo edit software. You can use whatever you like, Photoshop, Paint, I personally prefer GIMP. It's free and I will uh, add a link in the description below. If you are using GIMP, click open, then locate the file we just created. It should be inside an image folder of your project. Then click characters. Then look for the template. Now that you have opened the template, go to image then configure grid. You should set the numbers to 48 by 48. Now click view, then you click show grid. This makes it a lot easier to edit. Now you can see where the character image would be positioned inside of your game. If you, for example, tried to make really tall characters and you double their size, part of that image would appear in the image above it, if that makes any sense. Like this red dot, for example. It would have appeared in all of these four images. But now you can start to edit each image. You should use a pencil and start drawing little details one by one until you are satisfied. I will speed this up a bit so that you don't have to watch the whole thing. It would have been, well, quite boring and I don't have a lot to say. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I'm sorry that I made such a crappy video last time. Uh, I rushed it out because I thought that, hey, nobody have actually uploaded a video on how to edit custom resources. So I rushed it out and I am really sorry. But if it helped anyone, I am glad to hear so. It would also be really, really super cool if you checked out my game. I am currently creating a comedy action adventure, uh, commonly referred to as a ABS game, on map combat, action battle system, Zelda like combat system, you know. It is fully voice acted by me and the music is inspired by uh, Banjo Kazooie and Conquer Bad Ferdy. It's also been composed by Dark Grant and Hokon Davidson. They are really amazing compo. how do you say that? Companists? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, it's called A Broken Tale and you can find the footage of it on my channel. I will also add a link in the description below for Dark Run's uh, YouTube channel. You got some pretty amazing music out there. The background music in this uh, tutorial is actually from my game. I'm a promoting little devil. Okay, and now I skipped the whole editing part and I'm sorry for that, but um... If you, I don't know, want to see a tutorial on me showing you how to actually draw sprites, I, I, I could. There is a nice feature in game 2. So, when you've drawn the character, it might come off as a bit, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you don't have all the details you would like. Then you can just use a filter. Go to artistic, then cartoon. This filter adds a lot of detail and shadows, etc. to your character. Easy peasy. Now that you have 
finished him and you feel satisfied, go to exports. It's a, it's important that you export it as a PNG file and not and not JPG, I believe. Uh, and then uh, export him to the image file characters and be sure to naming something that doesn't overwrite any other character. Now go to actor, then you find the character, yeah, there he is, Foxer. And change the image, run the game, and voila. And now we just wait for the RPG Maker MV splash screen to fade away. And there he is, we have made it, our very own character. And of course it's important to change the menu, the face sets, everything so that this doesn't look like just another RPG Maker game, if you, if you know what I mean. Alright guys, thank you, I'm just a bit this. Thank you, I will make a new video soon on tile sets. Uh, this one was on sprites. Uh, hopefully this will help you out so you can make your own custom characters. And yeah, maybe your game would, uh, would look, yeah, I don't know, a little bit more badass. And be sure to hit the dislike button if you think I'm annoying or anything. Or if you feel like this didn't help you at all. Hit the like button if you enjoy my sexy voice or uh, you, well, what that I did something you didn't know you could do, you know. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Yep. Bye bye, guys.